How do you invent what kind of tank it is? The tank has excellent power and mobility, which allows you to move at a speed of up to 70 kilometers per hour. The cost of one such tank in 1972 was $214,000. During the firing of the 152 mm gun, the crew was obliged to wear a helmet so as not to break their heads. That's right, it's the M551 Sheridan, a light amphibious floating tank of the United States, named after General Philip Sheridan, who became famous during the American Civil War. The M551 Sheridan embodied a number of the latest design solutions for that time. For example, the body is made of aluminum armor, as well as the widespread use of plastic cannon launcher capable of firing guided missiles, Shilalai, and others. The tank was designed to replace the M41 light tank and the M56 self-propelled gun in the U.S. Airborne Forces. Military tests of the tank at the Aberdeen Proving Ground began in January 1963. By the middle of the year, two tanks were built. In the same year, the tank passed military tests and was recommended for adoption by reconnaissance and airborne units of the U.S. Army. Tanks began to arrive in the unit in 1966. A total of 1,700 tanks were produced in the period from 66 to 70. As of the beginning of 1978, up to 1,651 tanks were in service with the U.S. Army. However, the experience of their operation and combat use showed that the concept of such a tank was not successful, so after 1978, the M551 were mostly withdrawn from service. Interestingly, the cost of one production tank in 1972 prices was $214,000. The cost of routine maintenance after the exhaustion of the motor resource is almost $35,000 which is 16.2% of the cost of the car. And at this time, the cost of major repairs of combat damage was $41,000, which was 19% of the cost of the tank. Several subsequent modifications of the tank were also created. They differed from the base model with improved armor armament without ATGM, but with increased ammunition and others. The M551 has a classic layout with the location of the engine and transmission compartment in the aft part. The body of the welded tank is made of armor based on aluminum zinc magnesium alloy type 7039. The reservation provides all round protection against armor piercing bullets of 7.62 mm caliber and shell fragments. The frontal projection is protected from 20 and 23 mm armor-piercing shells of automatic guns. The Sheridan tank was equipped with a V-shaped six-cylinder diesel engine with a capacity of 300 horsepower. Thus, the M551 had excellent power and mobility, allowing it to move at a speed of up to 70 kilometers per hour. However, in combat conditions, the car turned out to be very noisy and unreliable. The main armament of the tank is the 152mm tank gun M81, which is also a guide for launching the ATGM Shilala, the cumulative warhead of the ATGM, weighing 6.8 kilograms, provides penetration of 200mm armor at a meeting angle of 60 degrees. The gun barrel has rifling for firing projectiles and a keyway for launching ATGM. The loading of the gun is carried out manually by unitary shots with burning cartridges. As auxiliary weapons, the tank is equipped with a 7.62 mm 73 machine gun paired with a cannon, as well as a large caliber 12.7 mm M2 Pianti aircraft machine gun mounted on the roof of the commander's turret. The ammunition is 20 pieces of 152 mm rounds 10 pieces of ATGM Shilalai 3,000 pieces of 7.62 mm cartridges and thousands of pieces of 12.7 mm cartridges. The M551 Sheridan was used in a number of armed conflicts. Since January 1969, the M551 has been intensively used in the Vietnam War, where both the advantages and significant disadvantages of the combat vehicle were revealed advantages of the M551 Sheridan tank.
the tank was very light with only 16 tons of weight, which made it possible to quickly move it from place to place with the help of helicopters in jungle and off-road conditions. The tank was floating, which was very useful in the conditions of Vietnam with its large number of rivers and bays that turn into a swamp during tropical downpours and monsoons. The tank had a powerful 152 mm gun. However, when firing from a cannon, the recoil negatively affected the accuracy of shooting, while the crew was obliged to wear a helmet during firing, since there were cases of injuries when a crew member without helmets smashed his head against the walls when recoiling from a shot. The tank's reservation was not quite sufficient. It provided protection from bullets of heavy machine guns and fragments of artillery shells, but it did not protect in any way from anti-tank guns and grenade launchers. In addition, the M551 proved to be very vulnerable to anti-tank mines. A total of 300 and 551 tanks were shot down during the war, one of which 90 were completely destroyed. During Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm, the 82nd Airborne Division deployed 51 Sheridan tanks, which were one of the first tanks sent. Although photographs published at the time showed rows of Sheridans ready to defend themselves against Iraqi tanks, they had limited effect against the Soviet T-72s that made up the bulk of the Iraqi Republican Guard. The role of Sheridan tanks, it was limited to exploration due to age and light armor. It is likely that no more than six Shililai missiles were fired at Iraqi anti-tank weapons or T-55s. This was the only case when the Shilala missile was launched in a combat situation out of 88,000 missiles produced. Also, 17 M551 tanks were used during the U.S. invasion of Panama in 1989. As of 2008, a small number of tanks remained only in service with the 82nd Airborne Division, since the United States has no other serial airborne tanks.